Thanks for joining us. We begin tonight with a first alert investigation in Shano County. Frustration growing among parents of teens injured in a homecoming bonfire explosion last October. Back in November, the Shano County Sheriff's Office recommended charges to the district attorney's office against three individuals. To date, just one of those people has faced charges now in juvenile court. In tonight's first alert investigation, Brittany Schmidt works to answer one family's questions about the delay in justice in a story only on Action 2 News. We just stood up for a wedding that we've had. Um, we've been thinking about for a really long time, and it was a beautiful day, and everything turned out nice. 18-year-old Brandon Britchkuski is getting back to the things he loves in life. He's been doing some golfing, okay. um, actually beating his brother. Finding a new normal after suffering second and third degree burns on 38% of his body last October. He and several other teenagers spent weeks in a hospital after authorities determined two teens tossed a 55-gallon drum container with a mixture of gas and diesel fuel on a bonfire. They believe he will do better at home physically and emotionally. GoFundMe pages and donations from the community help the teenagers pay for necessary treatment. He got fitted for compressions on his um, on the first legs. First legs uh, this week. Brandon is still recovering, waiting on insurance to approve necessary laser surgery to break up some of the scar tissue to promote flexibility and mobility. You're kind of on a time crunch because you've got to do it within that year. Within a year, right? yeah, to yes. be effective, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. But there's some other challenges too that you're you're waiting on. What are those? Well, the uh, court cases. So we had one court case already that's pretty much almost done. But the uh, another individual has not been tried yet, um, and it's been eight months. Uh, very frustrated. The Bridgekuskis want charges to be filed so Brandon can continue moving forward in his healing process. On November 14th, 2022, the Shawano County Sheriff's Office referred charges to the Shawano County District Attorney Gregory Parker. In the press release, the Sheriff's Office recommended charges against a 17-year-old, a 16-year-old, and the homeowner who was present during the incident. As of June 5th, 2023, only one of the three have faced charges. The 16 year old made his way through Brown County's juvenile court because they live in Brown County. He has to serve 40 hours of community service pertaining to burn victims. The other teen and adult have yet to face charges. About a month ago, Bruce Bridgekuski says he called DA Parker's office. I, did, I didn't talk to him, but I talked to um, secretary or whatever, and she was actually going to get back to me on some things and never did. I called DA Parker's office and sent multiple emails starting a week ago asking if and when charges will be filed. I also asked for a reason for the delay. I have yet to hear back from him. We've also been repeatedly checking online records and nothing has been filed. We also checked in with the lieutenant from Shawano County Sheriff's Office we've been in contact with since last November to ask if there's been a change in their investigation or if they know why there's been a delay. In an email, Lieutenant Chris Maddell says the Sheriff's Office referred the case November 14th and now it's up to the DA's office. He added the Sheriff's Office, quote, understands the frustrations of the victim's family and fully support them, end quote. The Bridgekuskis hired an attorney for possible future civil litigation to make sure Brandon's medical needs are met for years to come as more treatment is likely. We don't know what's going to happen around the corner. Um, you know, wounds that maybe don't heal could, you know, that can turn into cancer. I mean, there's a lot of different um, things that could happen that we have no idea. But you can't move forward in that aspect until you know what happens with right. the criminal case. Exactly. If there is a criminal case. Yep. Exactly. Yep. So mm -hmm. you're kind of at a standstill. Mm -hmm. We're at a standstill, as many of us are. Right. And your attorney has tried to get a hold of the DA, yes. my understanding. Yep. All the attorneys, yep. I think, involved have mm -hmm. have made that effort and, and no response. How many attorneys are we talking? Hmm. Probably five or six. That would From be our all guess. of those that were injured? Right, mm -hmm. right. More Maybe more, injured. yeah, the ones yep. that we know anyway. Yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. And they're just as frustrated? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yes. The Bridgekuskis say they have a lot to be grateful for. This community has been... People are still good to us. They are. 
But as part of Brandon's healing process, they hope to get some clarity soon. We're trying to stay positive. Mm -hmm. yeah. And get some answers. Get some and answers. get some answers. We are going to continue monitoring online court records and checking in with the DA. As soon as we hear back from him, we will let you know. Bill.